Hey guys, it's good to see you again. We're on episode seven of Black Magic Craft, and today we are making, ah, it worked. Uh, we're making sweet looking spider egg nest web things. I don't know, what do you want from me? They're spider eggs, they're gross, they look cool. Um, just a fun little project. If you need something to scare or entice your players, if your group's like mine, you have a barbarian that pokes everything. <sighs> anyway, uh, this is just a quick, easy, fun project, and it actually spawned from materials. Uh, there is something that I would see on an almost daily basis, and every time I saw it, I would think, oh, that would make awesome webs. I finally got around to testing it out, and turns out it worked pretty good. What's the magic? component I'll show you Steve Steve pass me the thing come on hey wake up just pass me the friggin thing oh. one sec sorry that's Steve uh, he's new here he's an intern he's not very smart uh, but he's all that I can afford anyway the magic web ingredient dryer sheets Yep, whenever I emptied the dryer, as long as I've been crafting, I'd look at these and go, that would make an awesome web. Uh, so I decided to finally try it out. And at first, you know what? It didn't actually work super great. I tried uh, a watered down PVA glue mixture to stiffen it up, but it just filled all the little holes. The surface tension was too high and it was just a mess. Uh, but I did in the end find a way uh, to make it look really good and attach it um, And yeah, I'm really happy with the results. So let's go and take a look at how we made them okay, You're gonna start off by cutting out some bases uh, Lately, I've been using these samples from Formica countertops. You can pick them up at the hardware store for free They're nice because they're really stiff. They're thin and they don't get a lot of warpage You're gonna need some kind of stones for the eggs to sit between and the web to go over. I'm just using some scrap uh, insulation foam to carve something up. Obviously you can use real stones, but right now it's winter and all the stones are buried under snow. Plus I like carving out of styrofoam. If you're happy with uh, whatever you're using, you wanna cover your whole base in PVA glue and place your stones. here same as a lot of the other projects just grab some of the construction sand sprinkle it all over to uh, give it some texture need the eggs uh, at the dollar store I came across these little styrofoam beads I guess you'd call them don't know what they're actually intended for but when I saw them I thought they would make awesome eggs so I took some PVA glue uh, grabbed a handful of these little styrofoam pellets and started mixing them up I wanted to make sure that they were completely covered because later I'm going to be spray painting this and I didn't want them to melt. I'm just adding a base of PVA uh, to set the little pellets in. I actually think this step might have been unnecessary or if not, uh, I could have got away with using a lot less. I found that as I was placing them, they were starting to sink. So I would recommend using a little bit less glue. If you can't find these little styrofoam pellets at your dollar store, uh, you could use anything really that's about the same size and is round. Plastic beads would obviously work great. Heck, even uh, certain little beans uh, from the bulk bin would work. So once that glue dries, which takes quite a long time, I left it overnight, uh, I spray painted the whole thing black. Got to painting, uh, I decided that painting the actual eggs first would be the smartest step because building up the white actually took several coats from the black. Um, and for this reason, I used a more creamy white and a blow dryer in between so that I could quickly get them coated with multiple coats. 
Once I was happy with the white coverage, I decided to mix up a little bit of a wash to get in the crevices of the eggs, make them look a little bit more gnarly. I just took some water, a little bit of a bright green, and some black to darken it up, and mixed it super, super watery. I probably should have put in some soap or flow aid of some sort. I was just keeping it simple. Uh, I'm sure you guys that paint a lot of miniatures have a selection of washes on hand or have some really good techniques for making your own. I don't do a lot of painting with washes because I don't make miniatures. Uh, for my gameplay I use paper minis. So everything I'm painting is terrain and usually it doesn't require something like a wash. I just do dry brushing. But here I thought with these eggs it would spice it up a little bit, make it look a little bit more interesting. Once I was happy with the wash and it had completely dried, I came back in with a true bright white and just hit the tops of the eggs to give it a bit more contrast. See here, the eggs are starting to look kind of icky, which is what we want. Uh, I then just went around quickly with some black and cut in all the overbrushed white before moving on to painting out the gray. Fortunately, uh, my phone ran out of memory and I had it on silent so I didn't realize while recording and I missed all the painting. I'm not too worried about it though, you know, all the techniques are the same that we used on the uh, modular tiles in episode one and obviously you guys will be using whatever techniques you use on your own terrain and tiles uh, and you're going to want to match it to that. We want to make sure that this pile of eggs looks real slimy and gross. So grab some clear nail polish and slop it on the surface. Get it all over the rocks, everywhere uh, that this spider would have spat out its web and eggs. Maybe two or three coats if you want it to look extra slimy. Now the fun part, the spider webs. Take a used dryer sheet. Uh, one, it's less wasteful than a new one and it will actually work better. Now start tearing it apart into a more workable size. You want those kind of frayed edges. You want to pull it apart, get some holes in it, uh, and make it look a lot less uniformed and more natural. Then just place it on your piece and kind of get a feel for how you're going to want it to sit. You're going to want to see where you want glue and where you don't. The way we're attaching this is with uh, the hobby tack uh, from Woodland Scenics. Uh, it's the same stuff you would use if you were flocking uh, trees. Basically you want to paint it on everywhere you want the web to stick, avoiding the places that you don't. Uh, it's going to go on white, but it will dry clear in about 15 minutes and get real tacky. And then you can go and carefully place your webs on top and just kind of get it sitting uh, to a point where you're happy with it, trying to make sure it looks kind of realistic and make sure it's really stuck down on the edges because then you want to start ripping off the excess. Don't cut it, rip it off, that'll make it look even better. Once you have a small amount left over, then you can snip that off with the scissors. And for something that comes out of the laundry room garbage can, I think these look fantastic. For some added protection, you can give it a quick coat of Mod Podge or some other kind of acrylic sealer to lock everything in place. All right guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, as always, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe, uh, hit like, on the video uh, and most importantly leave me a comment let me know what you thought maybe what you do differently and if there's any projects that you'd like to see me try to tackle uh, and do my spin on let me know in the comments uh, I'm making a list of future videos and every time someone asks for something it goes on the list okay until next time Steve uh,